we, we really live on divine providence and it's been amazing to watch, like, just like this has grown and grown and grown over these 50 years, our, we've got different properties and things that are unfolding and it's all based on donations and it's all based on shared properties. So, so uh, we don't really have like a master plan, we're just living in the moment and trusting that whatever is given, whatever shows up, it's for the whole. And really it's that simple, we're not trying, we don't have any future aims, we aren't trying to change the world, we're not even trying to make the world a better place. Uh, we're just in the sense of being in presence and accepting the, the magnificence that, that is right here, right now, without trying to change absolutely anything of the world. Yeah, and you've almost laid out the steps there, it's like giving up the plan B, which really having a plan B means I don't trust fully in plan A. So if I trust fully in plan A, I don't need a plan B. So plan B is a lack of trust, it's a backup plan. So a, a big part of coming into this trust the development of trust in a deep way is, is been letting go of the plan B's, actually seeing what they are, um, the fallback plan, which is the past in some way. I could always go back to what I did before, or I could always rely on, you know, someone, a family member, or you know, some future retirement plan. Or there's, a, there's another plan that would back me up if, if something fell through. And as those have just been cleared away from the mind, what that is doing is actually saying, I'm committing to plan A. I'm making a, a solid commitment, like a 100% commitment in plan A. And plan A is God. Plan A is, is awakening. Plan A is saying, I want you to take care of me. <laughs> and when you make God the plan A, that, that means you want to be sourced by God, you realize that you are God's plan A at the same time. There's this, you realize once you stop relying on the world and the plan Bs and the past as the safety nets, you say, I'm just going to give everything over to you. Then you realize, oh my God, all that God wants is to provide for me. That's divine providence, and it's like the whole universe is is truly here to support awakening when we give it that purpose. It's a flip from I'm a person in the world and I have to look after myself and make my life happen to I give my life over and trust that everything is going to show me the way and provide for me. Jesus called it put the kingdom of heaven first, you know. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all things shall be added. Well, it's true. It, it really does work. And it was scary giving up plan Bs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, daring to just have one plan because, yeah, it just takes a lot of faith and we have to be shown, really shown how safe it is. But when those steps are taken and that trust is developed and that commitment is really strong, that's when the mind is no longer distracted. You know, you can just be single focused and single pointed and actually available to hear and receive as much as the spirit you know, wants to provide. So I feel like that's a big part of like community. It's about commitment relationships, it's about commitment, and really it's it's awakening, like that's really what's underneath everything, when the community's purpose is awakening, or the relationship's purpose is awakening, or my life's purpose is awakening, there is this unified purpose that can be there beneath whatever it looks like, relationship or community, or, and that's, yeah. That's really everything. It's all